Uh, many visitors who come to Grossmoor National Park are, of course, awed by the geological wonder, the Western Brook Pond Fjord, the Tablelands, uh, and sometimes they almost overlook the forest. Uh, it's, it's so obvious on the landscape, but in fact it's in the forest where we have one of our big ecological issues in the park. Uh, we've got a problem in that we have too many moose in the park, uh, what we call a hyperabundant species. Uh, moose were introduced to Newfoundland back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. There was no major predator and uh, we also then uh, excluded hunting when the park was formed. And so the moose population expanded very rapidly. Well through years and years and years of browsing, the moose have effectively prevented the next generation of forest from regenerating over a very large area in the park. In fact, over 65 square kilometers of the park has now been converted from forest uh, into a grassland-like state. Uh, this scale is a, to the point where we're actually seeing changes in biodiversity in the park and changes to the animal communities and the plant communities in the forest. We re recognized we had a serious problem. So what we did, we consulted with a number of stakeholders and experts in the field and started to look for, well, what are the solutions that would bring back the forest regeneration, that normal process in, in Grossmoor National Park. In the end, it was decided that the most appropriate thing to do would be to have a population reduction, what we call a lethal reduction, which is essentially a hunt. And we've actually seen quite a significant reduction in the numbers of moose in the park. There's been over 3,500 hunting licenses issued for the park area. That's led to about a 30% drop in the population, about a 1,400 animal reduction in the population of moose. Uh, that has corresponded with uh, improved regeneration in the forest. Uh, one of the things we're seeing in our vegetation monitoring in particular is that some areas are regenerating better than others and not surprisingly it's areas that have high hunter access. In more remote areas in the park, such as these areas behind me in the mountains, uh, it's hard for hunters to access those areas and so in the next few years we'll be trying to target those backcountry areas that uh, to date haven't really seen very much hunting pressure. When we get to that healthy forest regeneration stage, we'll know that the moose population has been reduced sufficiently, and from then on we'll be maintaining the moose population at that size. Uh, Parks Canada has been working for many years now with stakeholders and partners and the public to find solutions to our forest health issues, and it's important for us to always recognize that this moose population reduction is really all about restoring the forest. So this beautiful forest we see behind me is really where we're trying to get to and ensure that in the long term, uh, for future generations that grows more and sustains a healthy forest ecosystem.